Hi everyone, it's Jojo. I have a small vintage haul video for you today. I didn't find too many things um, here lately, and a couple of things I found a few weeks ago I've already put away, so I'll have to get those out for a later video. But um, today I went to the thrift store and I also went to an antique store and I wanted to show you what I found. Most of the items are uh, Christmas related. Um, the antique store had all their Christmas stuff out, so, um, but I did find a few uh, non-Christmas items, but they all are vintage um, items. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, show you what I found. The antique store does take all the tags off of the items that you purchase, um, probably for just, they probably keep it for reference for um, the different, because there's different um, dealers within one building, and that's why I'm assuming that they take the tags. But I'll let you know how much I paid for everything. And I also want to apologize for not doing the video yet um, from the vintage cards that I bought from the antique store a few weeks ago. I know that I said I was going to do it like last week, but I tried filming it several times. And the problem that I kept having is I really needed both of my hands to um, flip and show the cards. So I ordered a small tripod from Amazon and it was supposed to be a two day, two day order but for some reason there was a problem with the package and so I just recently got it a day or two ago and so I'm gonna have to try it out but soon as I get that all set up I will definitely be making that video but I just want to let you know that and as to why I haven't posted it yet so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you the items I found this was the very first um, item at the antique store that I saw it was actually hanging on a tree by the price tag but I am gonna put another um, hook of some sort on it or a little string and hang it on the Christmas tree it was handmade it's so pretty it's got all the sequins and the little pins that are stuck in it and this is the bottom it's so neat it was two dollars and fifty cents and I said to the lady you can't hardly even buy an ornament in the store um, let alone make an ornament for that price anymore and it's so pretty so I got that and then I bought this it is made in Japan and it goes there's a little hole on the back and you put your um, the light through it on the tree I'm gonna stick it on the tree but it's just this little brick house and I paid two dollars for it um, I just love the color of the brick very cute I picked up the set of handmade bowls these were these bowls were made out of old Christmas cards and I love the graphics on it all sewn together it's like a little blanket stitch going around it but I just love the little graphics on it the um the colors were so bright on them and they were in really good shape I have two smaller bowls like this And then a larger one. And this one actually has cardboard in between the cards, which is nice because it makes it really sturdy. I'll show you all the way around there. And I think I paid $9 for, well, let me look at the receipt. Yep, I paid $9 for the set of three, so like $3 a bowl for those. This here I got at um, the thrift store at Goodwill. And I don't have a Christmas planner and I just love her she's so cute and it is marked on the bottom it's marked Napco and I paid a I it didn't pay very much I paid a dollar twenty nine for her she's so cute she has a little um some of the paint kind of chipped off in spots but I mean overall she's really good condition I found these at the thrift store I paid two twenty nine for them and Adoria is the name of the brand. They were originally $2.29. And they are, I looked them up actually while I was there. And somebody did say they were from the 50s. They're little slipper socks. And they have little pink and turquoise shells on it. And then like a faux pearl and a gold trim design. And there's a set of these. And then there's also, and these are so soft these socks and they have the, like the little bows on the back and this is what it says here and they're just so soft and I thought how neat were these if they were really from the 50s that I don't know about that's what 
they said online, but um, I thought that was a great price, and I always use those at night. I always sleep with socks on my feet, so. I got a few magazines at the um, antique store. They were $3 a piece. These are all from the 40s, and they're all like Hollywood related. So this one is called uh, Screen Album, but they have the prettiest pictures in it. Oh, there's Betty Grable. And I love it because there's a, like a page for each um, of the actors in it. Most of these magazines were in pretty rough condition. This one's not so bad. I think this one's actually the best of um, best of all of them. And there's this one. This one's called Screen Romances. And I just love the ads and everything in here and the colored ads. And even the... Um, I love the ones with the movies on it, the advertisement for the different movies. But these are all fun. Like I said, the covers were a pretty bad shape, but I just love the photos that are on the inside of it. And then I have one here that a fellow YouTuber will also like. This one was, oh, I'm so sad that this is in really bad shape. Garland Girl 21, she loves Jean Turney. And I found this one with her on the front. And look at the holes that are in the cover. There's like all kinds of holes. And it, this one doesn't even have a back cover to it. which I, <laughs> But I went ahead and picked it up for $3 because I love flipping through them. So, got those and I got a... Christmas tablecloth is huge. This is really good size tablecloth. And I think I paid $5 for that. Yep, I paid $5 for it. Um, but it's a nice thick material. And I like that um, it has really red in the background and then the green over it. Because my other Christmas tablecloths are mainly white with like, you know, some decoration on it. So I like that. And the last thing I got is this ET button, and I got this at the thrift store, and I paid $1.79 for it, and it does say, um, find it here, 19, 1982 it says on the side, so I thought that was kind of neat. But that's it, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, then I wish everyone a safe and happy holiday. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I would love to have um, more of you with me in my videos and it, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.